one of the reasons why we're a car themed barbershop is that when we started this barbershop, I actually was broke. And so I had a lot of car memorabilia and collectibles and Hot Wheels and tags. And so I used them to decorate and uh, I bought uh, toolboxes because they're easy to move around. And so I knew that when we expanded our business that the toolboxes would be easy, easy to come with mm -hmm. us. And because I had a Lowe's credit card and that's what I could buy with my Lowe's credit card. So I was broke. The first chair I started with was borrowed. The cutting mat I started with was borrowed and the toolboxes were bought on the credit card. So I had to choose, am I going to open a business or am I going to buy a new car with a little bit of money that I had in my savings and I started a business. Hey, I'm Mikey. I'm the owner and founder of the Chop Shop Barbershop here in Asheville. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me today. What have you been in Asheville for? Uh, I've lived in this area my whole life. I've lived okay. in Hendersonville most of it. Moved to Asheville for a couple of years when I started the barbershop. So you you are a local local. I am a local local. local. Okay. Yes. And how long you've had this shop for? Uh, about three and a half years. I did I wanted to make a family friendly barbershop mm -hmm. that was oriented toward kids, but where a guy could come in and get a hot towel shave and kind of get the traditional treatment as well. Um, what makes us different is that we're family oriented. We made an environment where a mother could bring their kid in and get a haircut. And we have a play area for the kids so mm -hmm. that the kid can be entertained until it's time for their haircut. Then we have cars for them to sit in while they actually get a haircut. And instead of just catering toward kids, we actually made it to where we can cater toward uh, the father as well. So he can get a hot towel mm -hmm. shave, he can get a haircut. We do a lot of skin fades, a lot of the modern stuff, the disconnects. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we just do kids, and it's not like we just do simple haircuts or traditional stuff. We do even the new stuff and the modern stuff. Okay. So we're not categorized into one particular group. We kind of cater to everybody. We even do a lot of the mothers mm -hmm. that okay. come in. We take care of their haircuts. We do a lot of the daughters. So we. We were really diversified in who we can take care of. You kind of answered my next question. Your typical client would be pretty much anybody. Pretty much mostly anybody. Men, men and mostly, yes. And our staff here, we have uh, we have everyone from uh, Amy, who's not with us here today, but Amy, who's been cutting hair for 18 years. And and how long have you been cutting hair? About 20. 20 years. Abe has been at it for how long? Two days. Whatever. <laughs> Abe's been at it for. He's been at it for, what, 15 years or so? Who is still an apprentice, but he's been at it for about a year with us here. And then myself, who's been at it for about six years. What do you like most about what you do, about you having this business? Uh, the, what I like about it is the fact that we provide an environment that anybody can come to. The mm -hmm. fact that we're here for the families. And mm -hmm. We're not trying to just be here for hipsters, though we do the hipster haircuts too. But we're here for, we're here for families, and that's really important. Anything you like least? The least that I like about it? Mm -hmm. But maybe about running the business. Or about the side running of business. the business. I would say that any business owner in 2018, the internet can really be a stressor on you. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a review and you're like, oh my gosh, is it a good one or a bad one? Luckily, we've had mostly positive reviews, but it can stress you out. Right. We are located in Leicester. Yes. So many people moving into the area from all over the country. Why do you think it's such a popular area? I mean, Asheville's great just because you've got tons of local food, a lot mm -hmm. of hiking, a lot of things for family to do. I mean, mm -hmm. if you want to be an active individual, this mm -hmm. is the place to live. Right. Mountain bike, kayak, mm -hmm. get a cold beer, or whatever. I yeah. mean, it's just a, it's just a neat place we to live. We've got everything. Everything. What are your hours? How people can find you? Um, what is your schedule? Uh, Monday we're open uh, 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday we're open from 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. Thursday we're open 10 to 6. And Saturday we're open from 9 until 2 o'clock. And you have a website? And we have a, uh, No, we use Facebook and okay. uh, Google for most of our information. So you can follow them on yeah. uh, Facebook? And, uh, and people can go to bagaro.com, B-A-G-A-R-O.com to set up an appointment with us. Somebody here for walk-ins. Okay, so walk-ins are welcome. Walk-ins walk are welcome and we always take appointments as well. Okay, great. If you describe our area in one word, what would that be? Mixed. Mixed. Definitely is mixed. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. Uh, I'd like to say, us at the Chop Shop, we appreciate everybody in Asheville. I mean, the success of this business is due to everybody that lives in Asheville that's come and patronized us and, like, given us uh, word-of-mouth referrals. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say I appreciate all of our customers. Thank you. And I have a question for you. Is that your beard right there on the logo? That logo is based off of my beard, absolutely. <laughs> Not the mustache so much, but definitely the beard is based off of mine.